Hey guys, welcome back to Leave It to Baker. I appreciate you checking out the channel. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm shooting on two cameras. Actually, this first one right here, this is my old smartphone. We're gonna say goodbye to the old smartphone and we're saying hello to the new Canon. Hi, and let's hope that this is better audio. I think it definitely is. See you later. And welcome. <laughs> Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out the channel. Um, this first episode of A Day With is going to be with Eric Slavin. Um, all right, well, this is going to be the true test of, uh, of this camera and the microphone. We just had a huge gust of wind. Yeah, it's constantly windy here in Colorado. Anyway, um, what I was trying to say was this first episode here um, is going to be on Eric Slavin. Uh, his Instagram link is going to be below. Um, Eric Slavin, he does internet reviews for watches, um, motorcycles, which is what this one is going to be on. Uh, he does cameras, he does phones. So uh, definitely check him out. Um, that's what this is. This is kind of a plug for him. So, so check out his Instagram page and, and see his, uh, his most recent stuff. In fact, he just did one on a watch that I really want. I'm going to have to do a little hint hint on trying to get that watch from him. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I think, and I mentioned this in the last one, the reason for the new direction is because I kind of want to follow the same footsteps as my dad. Um, I don't know if you guys knew this, my dad, uh, he interviewed many, many people in his life. He worked 40, 45 plus years in radio and television. Um, he interviewed everybody from, uh, from Dolly Parton to, I think JFK or RFK. I know I've got it on film, like 16 millimeter film somewhere. Um, but it says interview with Kennedy. I don't know which one. I should probably watch it. I know he told me stories about um, uh, members of Black Panthers that he interviewed. Uh, some very interesting times back in the 60s and 70s. Um, that's when he had moved from New York to, uh, to the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, but this is kind of the direction I want to go in. And I know that you know, I mentioned this before, but uh, I think other YouTubers would uh, really be interested in in checking this out, where this channel goes, and uh, hopefully build build other YouTubers up. Because uh, I know I'm excited about this. So, without further hesitation, here is the discussion I had with Eric Slavin and his 2020 Harley motorcycle, which he did reviews on for, uh, for Harley itself and for a local dealer that was in uh, the Southern California area. Anyway, thanks again. Check it out. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to do something a little different today, all right? A buddy of mine, he brought over his Harley and we're going to talk about it. What makes this bike so special? Well, this is actually one of the smallest Harley Davidsons they make. It's got an 883cc engine, hence the name Iron 883. A Harley's got bikes that go to over 2,000 cc's if you want to get one of the crate motors. But this one is the Iron 883. The iron part comes from the old iron head engine from the original Sportster that debuted in 1957. But you could probably go back to the 1952 uh, Model K, couldn't you? You can, actually. It's basically the same bike. It just had a, a smaller engine, about 749cc engine on that one. And then in 1957, that's when the actual Sportster, this one is the Sportster 883, that's when the original one came out.
So, what kind of gas mileage do you get on this thing? Well, it's a 3.3 gallon tank, and you're looking at about 50 miles per gallon, so technically about 150 miles, but you know, depending on how you drive it, at about 110 miles, you're going to want to start looking for a gas station. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. If you look at this bike, you think of bikes like the uh, Triumph Bonneville or the Ducati Scrambler. I mean, these are kind of modern classics. They look the part, but they're, they're modern bikes. This isn't a modern classic. This isn't a reissue. This is an actual classic. This is basically a muscle car from the 1960s that never left production. It's basically you're straight out of the 1957 Roundup. So look at this bike. They really they just don't make them like this anymore. I mean, you look at Harley's lineup now. You got the soft tails, you got the touring bikes, and the Milwaukee 8 engines. They dominate, and they're great, and they're very powerful. A lot of torque, a lot of horsepower. But they're also they're very buttoned up. They're very refined. They feel like a modern bike. But this feels like you're driving something literally from the 1950s. And it's like you're sitting on a dryer full of shoes. And that's what just gives it so much character. It's not a performance bike, but it's just such a fun bike. And it's like something from another era. And it's really just what makes this bike special. The new Iron 883 is a direct descendant of that original 1957 model. And it may just be the last pure Harley Davidson.